Okay, we are now going to create an interactive quiz within our recording. So, firstly, open your recording from your media and then go to Actions and open Launch Editor. This will open a new window. This is the video editor window. We have already looked at um, the video editor trimming option. Uh, now in order to add an interactive quiz, you need to select this cube at the top of the navigation panel. Press start. And this will give you some further options. So in details, you can um, decide whether you want the, there to be a welcome page at the beginning of the quiz, uh, which basically is a bit of a warning to students that there are questions included within, within the recording. Um, you may also enable students to allow download of the questions and also you can provide instructions. Within this course option, again, it's up to you, but you can decide, you can allow students to have multiple attempts. Uh, you can decide that you don't want them to see the scores. Um, you can also include answers. So um, this, I believe, will be a good, uh, useful feature um, that will provide students with feedback. Finally, there's also experience. So you can enable or disable uh, the option to, uh, for students to change the answer. Uh, you can also allow students to skip. Uh, so I'm not going to have that on. So I'll select do not skip. And you can also uh, select an option where no seeking forward is possible. This means that students will have to watch the whole of the video um, without being able to move forward. Okay, so once you're happy with the settings, you can start adding your questions. Okay, so to add the first question, you need to first decide where you want the question to be positioned. So ideally that would be after the first concept that you have introduced, so that students can take a moment to uh, reflect on, on the content that you have um, introduced to them. So um, I can use the blue bar in order to position, uh, to decide on the position of my first question. Then, in order to add a question, click on the blue button on the, on the screen, add a question, and that gives us four different options. So we have a multiple choice question, true false question, a reflection point, and an open-ended question. For the question options, you you will see that there is also an additional option here in the corner of adding a hint and also adding a rationale for the correct answer. We'll have a look at how this, what this looks like in, in practice. So firstly, I will add my question. As you can see here, um, this is the place where the correct answer should go. For, should go. Okay. And now I'm going to add a hint. I can also add a rationale for the correct answer. 
rationale for the correct answer is not going to be available till the end of the video. Okay, when I'm happy with the question, I confirm with the save button and now the question is going to be positioned um, on the timeline of the recording where the blue line has been initially placed. Okay, so let's now have a look at what this quiz looks like in action. So you can either preview or you can finish your editing by pressing the done button. Okay, so this is the welcome page that informs students of the presence of the quiz. Okay, so we arrived at the point where the first question was placed. As you can see, the video post and now the student can select the, um, the answer they think is correct. They also have an option of a hint that I've included before. Okay, and I'm going to skip forward to show you what the um, final section looks like. Okay, so if I click on the review button, it will take me all the way to the beginning of the quiz, uh, of the recording. Um, if I submit, I can still have a look at my question, at my answers. Um, I can have a look at the rationale. Okay, 